Hello viewers, I recently came to know that many of the viewers says that they don't want full video, they want partial videos and to be uploaded on, on the YouTube. So I'm making this for on this videos and it will take a short notice over there that how to create a web service in Oracle Apex. So I, why, uh, without wasting any time, I will move forward. Go to the application express after login. You can see the screen. Here is a SQL workshop. Here is just full services. You can click one of the services. I have already created three, so I will create uh, one more. So here I am writing it as a test, and there would be required a test for underscore video. Just a prefix to identify the URLs, how it's going to wa work, and this is test one, I should say. Okay. Right now I will use only get method. We will uh, see get post port on my another videos. So simply like select star from tab. Any of the uh, SQL query can work on this. So just create a create module button. So here you see you see a get button over here. Simply test. So there would be a double slash. Okay, you can see over here. So I simply go over here. We don't want the slash. We save it. We go over here. Now the troubleshoot has been done. So this is the domain path. This is my you can see, workspace name. This is name of the alias which we have already taken. And this is the test one, the web service. This is the SQL query which we have fired right now. If you want all the uh, videos in detail, please do let me know in my comments so that I can make it on on the full with a slow uh, with slowly. So I just save apply. Of course, you can write any kind of SQL over here. There's no, uh, there's no any such kind of foundation. You can see our success now. We have used the get me uh, get method query. Now we'll use plsql same on that. http.p success. Get my SQL statement. Okay, sorry, I haven't written begin and end over here. You would write. You have to write over here. Begin and as we are firing on the PLSQL query, I just apply apply changes. That's it. Here you see success. If you seem so that it is not, uh, it is a hard coded success. Then Pankaj. Test success Pankaj. Now, in this video only, we will let you know how to make a parameterized URL. So here I write down a so we will write the those in curl vessels. Apply changes over here. Now we will provide column A. Apply changes. It is done. Now, when we test this URL, we found a value A. If I have I just modify the URL now, Pankaj. Okay. Now it is a parameterized URL. The value you have to pass is on the from the URL itself. In curve places, you can see Pankaj over here. Okay. Here 
you go. Likewise, if I say Pankaj is best. Here you go, Pankaj is best on the URL. If you want it in JSON format, you have to write a JSON form code on, on it. If you can provide any sort of information which you write to display on the internet. Likewise, if I say like, let's put on the query select. Now, colon A from dual. It's a simple uh, method where we are using by providing an SQL query. We can run that one. So it's a JSON. Right now, I am providing Pankaj. Here, you can see it is providing Pankaj. And in place of this, if you want to change this, it can also be done. Likewise, if we go back here and just provide down as DD or DD, okay? Apply changes. That's a DD. A. So you got a perfect parameter over here in select we say uh, display value and a return value we perfectly got this one we load in the variable dd okay if you check on google json parser any json parser will work i will take on the first one that it's a valid json or not it's a valid json you can see over here that in the item dd there is a value Pankaj and of course this is a referral URL if you want to use that one that's all for them and I, I would like to come now to the post web service same as we have provided get we have could provide post but post cannot be done on the SQL itself you have to be in PLSQL so of course there should be a hundred parameters which we need to get begin a B C or S T P dot P colon A and it will work for me and I will of course set a bind variable for that one. Of course, post variable, uh, post web service do do wind variable. So I provide in over here. HTTP header string. I just name that one. ABC and ABC. Okay. So the URL would be same only. Okay, of course we don't get a get you uh, post URL, so we need to create a, one more handle over here to get a URL. If you know the URL, then I've already provided you the pattern that it would be around like this. You can copy this URL, of course. This is not a URL parameter, so you need to remove this one. Now test one will work for us for the post web service. In the next video, I will let you know how to call a post web service. Of course, you will not see any anything on this one as this this would only allow it to the in the get parameter. In the next video, I will let you know how to call a post web services. Thank you and have a great day. Bye bye.